Hi, I'm Abdul Fatah Muniru. In this session of this training, I want to show us how to do bank reconciliation with QuickBook Desktop. With QuickBook Desktop, okay. So QuickBook Desktop has an inbuilt feature. If you go into banking, you see reconcile. So you can reconcile any other account actually. But in this case, we want to reconcile bank. I want to reconcile our bank transaction so once you have those bank transaction entered into quickbooks if you come here over to banking you go to use register let's check for premium trust bank then over here you see it is not cleared there is no check mark this check mark here it means it has not been reconciled if we go up there is none of them has the check mark so it means they have not been reconciled so this is the information we have in our bank transaction here in quickbook desktop okay so now if you go to banking make sure you have this information readily available over here you have the balances for generally or let's say you have your bank statement here but your bank statement is independent of whatever it is you have here here you've already entered those transactions here so basically the major things that might not be here as at, as of now is the bank charges and the interest income if you have interest income so those are the two things that you might need that definitely are not here because they happen in the bank so whatever it's here we are what you recorded yourself so let's go ahead and start with the reconciliation so i'll go to banking here then I'll click on reconcile. Now from the reconcile, I'm going to select the bank I'm reconciling, which is premium trust bank. Then statement dates. So this first transaction I want to uh, reconcile is from which date? If you look at the Excel here, we only have January and April 2023. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select January. I want to reconcile for January here, end of January 2023. The ending balance in my bank statement so i'll go to excel i'll select it to it to that's what i have in my bank statement it to so once i input it to here now you might want to look at something here for january okay i'll have to exit this to see that but let's just continue uh if there's any service charge which is the uh, bank charges we have it as 200 so we'll go ahead and select 200 now you need an account to track the dates it should be same january at the end of january now you should have an account where you track your service charge so let's see if we have service charge we have bank service charges so it's fine we we'll select bank service charges interest in here we don't have any interest in so we just leave it to bank charges alone then we go ahead with continue uh, it's because of it has been more than 30 days you can still go ahead and click on ok ok now we are here now if you look at here the differences is 8400 so but what you should concentrate on is these two places these are your deposits and other credit and these are also your check payment your checks and payment withdrawals and these are deposits so but the little you want to do here is pertaining uh january so the month come before the day so you can see this is generally up to this level and this is generally so i'm going to select this because i have it in my bank statement so remember i don't have a sample of bank statement you should have your bank statement so once you have your bank statement available then you come to quickbooks so you can hold it with if you have the hard copy you just view so make sure you have this in your bank statement the one you printed now you click on that it has selected that then you go to your bank statement and tick it so if you have your bank statement here you just tick you check it or 
if it is hard copy you use a pen or barrel to check that you've confirmed that aspect so that if you don't have any transaction that is not present if you have any transaction that is not here that is on on the on, on there is no in quickbook that is on the bank statement you can easily identify it. and if you have any transaction that is on quickbook that is not on your bank statement you can see that by doing this cross checking we are doing by ticking each of the ones with frequency so if you go to quickbook we've done that so this is the only deposit we saw in our bank statement that is with us then we also saw this four transactions i'm going to click them one after the other to include them see i'm checking as i'm checking here i'm also checking on my excel sheet on my bank statement or my hard copy so i also check this so at the end of the day do you see any differences no there is no differences it means everything has been settled so we are good to go then you click on reconcile now we are not done reconciling we still have reconciliation for april okay and the balance is also there so you can easily copy the balance okay If you want to print we just close we are done reconciling now if you go to your bank register go up you see the difference this is the difference it with this check here it means it has been reconciled up to 31st of january and this h2 is all you have in your bank statement as h2 fine the next thing we are going to do now is to go for april now on april we have a balance here we can copy the balance since it is somehow much then we'll go to uh quickbooks then we'll click also on reconcile again we want to go for april so once we click on reconcile select the bank which is also correct then we are working for in fact automatically it will select the next month fine good then then any balance control v to paste or this okay i've done that i've pasted it what we have then do we have bank charges we have service of uh, 1450 okay so i'm going to input that 1450 and then for second of february there is to go to bank service charges okay i'll continue then once i do that i'll go ahead and check every information i have so obviously I should have these four deposits so I'll click on the four deposits I'll click on them check them I'll also check them on my hard copy or on Excel my soft copy then all these are for April I'll make sure I check them one after the other so that I can see anyone that is not present in both so whether it is present here in QuickBook and not on the bank statement or whether it is present in the bank statement and not present in QuickBook you can see that by checking each of them to confirm to cross check okay now over here you see we have a balance of 200 it means there is an information that is missing somewhere there's an information ending balance is 424 436.34 then declared balance whatever you have here is cleared by 424 236.34 0.34 so it means there's an, there's an under balance by this 200 so let's go to uh, register so if not reconcile this but we are in the process of reconciling so let's say it is this 280 that is supposed to be 480 for instance double click on that then I click this 480. Then let me save and close. Then once I save and close, let's try and see maybe is a minus or addition. I'll go to my open windows, I'll go to the console. Now 480. Okay, is a minus. Sorry. So let's go back to premium tools. So this should be. 18 error let's say it is 18 error not 480 so this is how you can adjust this uh balance so let's say it was 18 error because you uh you over 
there's, there's an amount that's over by 400 or by 200 remember i added 200 as i it is now 400 okay so once you do that it will take note of that changes now it's 80 so let's go to reconcile now the difference is zero so you see why you have to check each of them so it means while checking for this <coughs> this was not 40 it was 80 so remember i don't have a copy of bank statements you should have your own copy and make sure you tally them and cross check so that is why you need to check them one after the other so that whenever you are reconciling you have the same figure on your bank statement and on quickbook so with this we are done reconciling we click on reconcile now so once you reconcile it means everything is in balance so you have your information here they are checked now so with this we have successfully carried out bank reconciliation on quickbook desktop please subscribe to my youtube channel like my video you can share the video if you have any question drop on the comment section and see you guys some other time have a nice day bye